All right, Shalom. Before I get started, Barakati Yahweh, Barakati Yahweh Shah, Barakati Yahweh, Barakati Yahweh Shah, Barakati Yahweh, Barakati Yahweh Shah, Kahala Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well and teach well, and who are the true leaders of Israel today. I also want to give another shout out to the head of the Man of Israel camp, Akhazat, who my teacher down here in Greenville, South Carolina. And I also like to give another shout out to Issa Sir Akim, you brothers out there that's pushing this truth in all sincerity and righteousness in these last days. And I also like to give a quick shout out to you, uh, Israelite foreigners that's looking like the other heathen nations causing confusion. Coming back to our heritage in these last days. And, all right, and another quick shout out to you, um, you few outwalked, you sisters out there. And staying in order and doing what you need to do in these last days. I right, tell y'all, let's say Shalom. All right. And I'm coming back through the spirit and power you have by Shiyam with another lesson. All right. And I'm going to title this a lesson. Uh, really, I ain't going to title it a lesson. I'm going to just probably put uh, Hosea uh, 4 and 1 because uh, that's the scripture I'm going to touch up on today. All right. Because. Uh, the Lord got a problem with this land, man, known as America, Babylon the Great, man. Because of all the wickedness that's going on, all the lies that's going on, the Lord got a serious uh, problem with this place. And this place is going to get dealt with very, very soon, man. Uh, whether if you believe it or not, the Lord is going to deal with this place because of all the deceit, deceitfulness that's going on, all the lies, all the rape robbery that this place has done, right, to the Israelites. And not only to the Israelites, but to these other countries as well, man. All right, and uh, we'll get it, uh, Hosea 4 and 1, because right, I just want to touch on this one little scripture. All right, Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, you have by Shion Rashad. Yeah, hear the word. You so called Negroes, Spanish, Native Americans, man. Hear the words, man. And that's something my people don't want to do. They don't want to hear the words of you have by Shion Rashad. They want to hear the words of man, Esau, Edom, right? They want to hear his words and what he got to say. They like, help the Lord. You know, we want to hear what the so-called white man says. <laughs> That's our people, though. They said, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, with Shai, ye children of Israel. You see? Because the words is only for Israel, man. Uh, Psalms 147, uh, uh, Psalms 147, verse 19 20 said, he showed his word to Israel. You know, he had dealt not with any other nations. Roughly paraphrasing. You see? So it says, Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashiach Washah, ye children of Israel. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashiach Washah, had the controversy, right? Let's go into that word controversy in uh in the Hebrew. Damn, it's like you. Yeah. Get that word controversy. Strong's H seventy three seventy nine, Reeve, Reeve, and second entry, Riv, Riv, and third entry, Riv, Riv. All right, <clears throat> and it says scrife, controversy, dispute, scrife, uh, quarrel. If I'm saying it correctly, dispute, controversy. Uh, case at law to go down the scrolls it said cause scrife controversy contention you see it says um a contest uh uh adversary cause chiding contention controversy multitude right and when you go to the uh, definition the google definition of controversy <clears throat> it says disagreement See, so because the Lord don't this, the Lord don't agree with this place, Babylon the Great. He disagrees with it, man. The ways of the ways, Bab, the ways of Babylon, right? The philosophies of Babylon. He disagrees with it, man. He's not with it because it goes against his law, statutes, and commandments. You see, they tell you you can sleep with another man, a man, well, a man can sleep with another man, a woman can sleep with another woman. When we read the scriptures, the Lord said they should be put to death. You see. That's just one example. <laughs> it says disagreement, uh, typically when prolonged, public, and heated. And then the other one, it said disagreement. You see? 
So the Lord, yeah, the Lord disagrees with the ways of Babylon the Great. And that's why he got a controversy with this land. Because it goes against his word, man. Everything, every, uh, pretty much for the most part, almost damn near everything of America goes against Yahweh Shem Shah, man. And that's why this place is going to have to get judged. Because like the scriptures tell you in the book of Jeremiah, uh, the 51st uh, chapter, it tell you that uh, the sins of Babylon have reached into heaven, man. <laughs> this place sins have reached up into heaven. The Lord got a problem with it. And like I said, the Lord is about to deal with this place very, very soon, man. Whether you people believe it or not. And we are just giving y'all the warning. It's up to y'all if y'all want to take heed or not. You see, if y'all don't take heed, hey, that's y'all at the end of the day. We not worried, man. You know, we, we trying to make our calling election sure. <laughs> y'all better try to make y'all, if you're an Israelite, y'all better try to make y'all calling an election sure, man. But we understand that two-thirds of you niggas ain't, because the scriptures are already written, you know. <laughs> tell you in Zechariah uh, 13, chapter verse 8 and 9, that, you know, two-thirds are going to be cut off and die, but the third, you know, going to go through, you know, is, is going to be saved, roughly paraphrased, you know. So back to Hosea 4 and 1, it says, Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai, ye children of Israel. For the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai had a controversy, a disagreement with the inhabitants of the land. <laughs> now, during Hosea time, it was actually talking about the land of Israel that the Lord had a problem with, you know. Uh, it was actually talking about the land of Israel, but we apply to uh, uh we apply this scripture today uh for Babylon the Great America, man. Uh, because the scripture say the scripture was written for our learning, so it was written for our learning. Now we're seeing these scriptures, we some of these scriptures we could apply to today, you know. Because the Lord, you know, uh, the same thing is going the same thing that was going on back then is happening now, you know. So it said, uh the Lord you have by I had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. All right, and like I said, this land it was really talking about Israel. But, you know, we could apply it to uh, America, Babylon the Great. Because there is no truth, right? No mercy. Yeah, because, you know, these devils have uh, 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 shown no mercy to the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. No mercy, you know? And they're, they're portrayed to say that oh, we, we, we do serve, we do give y'all a little mercy. No, the hell y'all don't, man. Y'all treat us like shit. Y'all, y'all, y'all put us on the bottom, right? We kill, we get killed unjustly, right? It says, uh, because there's no truth. Yeah, that too, there's no truth in this land, man. It's nothing but fucking lies, man. You see? Nothing but lies, man. They'll tell you, see, I'm about to say Caesar, but yeah. They'll tell you that the Messiah is a so-called white man. Matter of fact, me and the brother had just gone to work. And, um, but I, you know, I, we were about to get ready to cash our checks in or whatnot. And when the brother got back in the car, you know, I I happened to spot outside of my damn eye <laughs> a fucking picture of Caesar boy yeah. They, but they'll say that's the Lord right there. You see, there's no truth. You see, because niggas still think that uh, uh Esau, I mean, they'll th not Esau, they'll still think the Messiah is so called white man. That that's not truth. That's a lie. You see, that's why the Lord got a problem with this land as well. Because they they blasphemy the most high. And the angels by saying they so-called white people, man. You see? Saying that the real Israelites are the old, those gutter rats over there in the land of Israel. Right? There's no truth in this land. It's nothing but fucking lies. They tell you that the C99 is good. The C99 booster shot is good for you. That's not no truth, man. You know you lying to the people, man. But y'all say that's the truth. You see, that's why the Lord got a problem with this land. You know? It says, because there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge. Yeah, because <laughs> Hosea 4 and 6 said what? Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to get that. Hosea 4 and 6, matter of fact, it's right here. My people are disgruntled for the lack of knowledge. You see that? There's no truth. In, I mean, there's no knowledge. That's why the Lord got a problem with this name, because if they had the knowledge. They would know that the Lord don't look like Caesar. Uh, um, I keep saying Caesar, boy, yeah. If they, they had knowledge, they would understand that the Lord don't look like that. They understand that the Lord is a so-called black man. They would know that the C99 is not, booster shot is not good for them, right? Et cetera, man. They would know that the so-called white man is the devil, but they don't got knowledge of that. That's why the Lord said, my people are described for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the Lord is going to reject your ass, man, because you rejected the knowledge that the prophets are trying to give you, man. It says, I will also reject thee, that thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten see they forgotten the law of thy god 
You see? They forgot the laws of the... Not, not, that's why the Lord got a problem with this land of America. Because his people have forgotten the laws. And we understand Esau ain't going to keep the law. But if you so-called niggas and Spanish and Native Americans did, hey, man, the Lord would have us, got us out of... Ben got us, got us out of this captivity. You see? It says, um, seeing that I has forgotten the law that I got, I will also forget that children. So the Lord going to forget you and your kids, man. You see? It says, because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of Yahweh in the land. You see? There's no knowledge of Yahweh by Shem in this land, man. They, they, the niggas still think the Lord's name is God. Still think uh, the, 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 the Lord's son named Yahweh Shah name is Jesus. You see, there's no knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Shah. Or they still, like I said earlier, they still think they so-called white man. They think uh, the Messiah is a so-called white man. You see, so these niggas don't got no knowledge of the Lord in the land of America, man. That's why the Lord's going to have to come back and judge this place. And it's, like I said, man, it's coming very soon, man. The Lord got a serious problem with this land. He's going to deal with it, man. And we can't wait till the Lord deal with this place, man, because we tired of it, man. We tired of seeing all the wickedness going on. We tired of seeing all the, the fucking, uh, 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 we just tired of everything, man. Everything we see damn near is vegetation of spirit, man. You know, it just pisses you off, man. Because the people just act so fucking stupid, man. Every time, every day you wake up and go to work, then uh, you see something stupid, man. Or people just doing dumb ass shit, you know. So Lord, Lord only, uh, Lord only option is to destroy this place, you know. And he's about to do it very, very soon, man. Very soon, like I'm, I keep saying it because it's gonna happen, man. Well, like I said, whether you niggas believe it or not, all right. So that's pretty much all I had on that. Uh, Lord willing, this quickly uh, exhortation was edifying. We'll close out with giving our praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Shalom, until next time. Shalom.